Welcome back to my channel, Vet Hat Travels and Eats. I'm your host, Thomas. And recently, someone asked me about Niagara Falls. And I said, yeah, it's been a little bit since we've been there. So they asked me to post something on Niagara Falls, so I'm going to do just that. Uh, a few years ago, uh, we live in Vegas now, but I used to live in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, <clears throat> of course, Canada is right across the Detroit door of the river from Detroit. So there are a couple of ways to get, well, from Detroit uh, to Niagara Falls. We just crossed the bridge and we went another time, we went under the tunnel and you get over to Canada and then you go to Highway 401. 401 will take you all the way down to uh, Niagara. Uh, you just have to follow the signs down there, but it'll get you straight to Niagara, Niagara Falls. It's about a I say about a four hour drive, maybe a four and a half hour drive, depending on how you drive. Uh, like I said, it's a very beautiful place. Now, uh, Niagara Falls is one of the honeymooners hot spots in the world. A uh, lot of honeymooning going on in Niagara Falls. So uh, it's a good weekend getaway, you know, for families, but you know, I suggest that you make your reservations uh, early because uh, those hotels do book up fast. Now, um, if you are into haunted houses and pancakes, this is a good spot for you. There, I don't know what it is about Niagara Falls and their obsession with Frankenstein and Dracula and pancakes. There's pancake breakfast specials everywhere and uh, haunted houses everywhere. You'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, again, it's fun. It's fun. There's a wax museum there. And, you know, we uh, went up into the Skyland Tower uh, to take pictures, you know, of the Horseshoe Falls. You, I mean, you go way up and you can look down onto the Horseshoe Falls. And I'll tell you, that's a sight that that is just absolutely beautiful. Again, Niagara Falls, the eighth wonder of the world. So you got to get there. Now, Clifton Hill. Clifton Hill is like the main drag there, Niagara Falls. Clifton Hill is where most of the uh, activities are, most of the attractions are. Uh, you know, there are places out uh, off Clifton Hill, but Clifton Hill is usually the main drag. And I don't care what time it is, day or night, uh, there's something going on on Clifton Hill, you know, and um, it's fun. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. Now, some must do's. Uh, if you go to Niagara Falls, if you can get to Niagara Falls, you have to do the Maid of the Mist. I don't care if you do anything else, do the Maid of the Mist. Made of the Mist is a boat that, you know, you, you get a, a rain jacket, a raincoat or whatever, and you they pile this boat up you know you get on this boat and you drive right to the falls and it turns like you know so many yards in front of where the water is hitting and it is just something to see something to see just to say you did it made of the mist you got to do it there are also some tours uh you know that go behind the falls you know actually you going through this formation and and actually you can actually see the water going down you're 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 actually behind it now again this is all on the canadian side there is an american side you can go across on the american side there are not as many attractions but the canadian side is where all the fun is so um yeah it it, it, it there's some things to do over there but uh you know, all the fun and, you know, on the Canadian side. So again, Niagara Falls is a wonderful place. Uh, very romantic. Uh, all I saw was couples, you know, when we were there, uh, me and my wife. And uh, again, it's, 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 a, it's a place, you know, uh, I would suggest for honeymooners to go. And it's for a weekend. It's not you know, you don't want to stay there longer than that, really, because this you're going to see a lot in one day, two days. But that's that's good enough. That's good enough. So 
again, Niagara Falls, thumbs up. Get there if you can. Um, you know, if I could go back, we will. But living in Vegas now, it's kind of hard to get there. We would have to fly and, you know, go through the customs thing. And, you know, I've seen it and it, it's worth it. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And in the comments below, if you've ever been to Niagara Falls, tell me what you thought about it when you were there. You know, what did you experience? You know, uh, I would like to hear that. So thank you again. Please subscribe to my channel. We're bringing more and more places that uh, we've been. And, and, and again, wherever I'm at, I got my hat. And, uh, you know, well, just thank you. <laughs> just thank you. All right. Talk to you guys later.